Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today I'm here in the ocean completely drowning uh, because today we're going to be doing another build challenge. This build challenge is going to be very simple. The ultimate goal is to build a functional house, so to speak, but we can't place a single floor tile. All, all we get is the ocean. That's right. All we get is the ocean and I guess technically this this uh, party boat here because that's that's undeletable. You can't you can't remove it. But uh, we're not going to use that for this build. We're going to just shove that over there in the corner, and we're going to we're going to get started. I'm not really sure how to go about doing this, but I do think that the first thing we need to do is figure out some sort of platform that we can kind of walk on. That way we can kind of not have to swim the entire time. And I'm thinking we could probably just use some of these, like these picnic blankets, perhaps. And that way, not only will we have a platform to walk on, but we'll also have this. Uh, sort of nice checkered pattern uh, floor and everything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with with the black and white one. I think we can do like a little kitchen over here and we'll just combine four of these and then this will just be the entire kitchen. So th essentially th that's kind of it really. <laughs> We're going to be trying to do an entire house just out of I guess picnic blankets. I don't know. I don't think there's anything even any better than that um but yeah that's what we're gonna try and do we're gonna try and build a, a an entire functional house just using nothing no, no floor tiles just ocean uh and we're gonna see how that works out for us so uh, i hope you'll enjoy this little speed build and then obviously the the finished little uh breakdown by the end So after about 20 to 30 minutes later, we have this structure here. This is what it looks like. Now, um, it, it it's not the greatest. I decided not to go with walls because I feel like walls would just make everything look super weird. I mean, like, like just, just look. Like, first off, not all of it is lined up anymore. But like, everything is floating around the wall and it just... It's really trippy looking, so I decided not to go with walls. I think it just I think it just looks a little bit too weird. Um, I do have a weird void space here in between, but we will just pretend that that's 
that's just intentional. <laughs> um, but uh, of course we have the kitchen up here. That's what I started with because I figured that would probably be the easiest thing to do out of everything here. And overall, the challenge in as a whole, really, um, it, there's so many weird things that happen. Like some things are floating that are floating out of sync with other stuff like this, this box here for some reason that's just doing that i have no idea why it's doing that it's just it's just doing that it just it just wants to be different it wants to vibe out um of course some of the ground is not floating in sync with everything else and it just it just looks really weird and trippy and it can be kind of hard to work with with space like that because it's hard to line up certain things to make it look good um but overall i think i did a pretty good job i mean we even got we even got a blood jar here that's pretty nice if we come on down out of the kitchen and make our way over here to the right we have ourselves a bathroom complete with a shower uh that's pretty nice that's pretty lovely if i do say so myself uh and then of course we have uh the the toilet but it's just that's the best we can do in Ponytown. i'm sorry <laughs> uh then we have a plant and a table and and a place to to wash your hands and everything like that a nice functional bathroom if i do say so myself uh and then of course we have a fireplace in the middle Ooh, that's pretty wild having having fire and an ocean build and, 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 and but i live on the ocean i can't and i have fire <laughs> i just thought it would be kind of funny so I, that was like one of the first things i wanted to put down because i thought like i said it would be hilarious if there's just a fireplace here and everything like that so of course i have two different couches i kind of made this like living room a little bit bigger than what i wanted so i just ended up kind of just throwing this couch here i have no idea why i did that i just decided you know what i don't know what to do with this space boom weird weird couch and then of course um also didn't know what to put on this table so i just put a skull because hey you know why not the skull is even moving up and down i think it's still alive guys i think it's still alive um and then of course we have ourselves a tv and a remote look look at the little remote it's it's hopping up and down out of sync with everything else for some reason uh i thought it was uh, a good looking remote if i do say so myself and of course the tv we're looking at it from behind so it looks it looks kind of weird that way um but yeah i one thing that that i realized would be a really good idea for like the lighting and everything is to use these floating lanterns because then they won't be bobbing up and down and they won't look weird in some places although i do think that this one over here on top of this bookshelf probably does look a little bit weird because of how it is um but you know you know, maybe it's fine. I don't know. You just tell me if it looks fine. Anyway, the last room here is the bedroom. I decided that their, their hobby would be like plants and things like that. They have this like weird plant thing that they're working on. And ooh, look at that. They got they got some fireflies in here. That's pretty nice and lovely. They even have a computer here, so they can just uh, immediately go from working on these plants or whatever like that immediately over here to their computer and and type on this weird keyboard and and this this thing and that should be that should be made a, that should be blue i don't know why that's not blue i should have made that blue that's my bad there we go it's it's blue now all right wonderful and then of course the bed i thought i thought it looked pretty nice and you can't have a bed without a knife under the pillow so there we go there's our knife and there is the build i hope you guys enjoyed this this was a little bit uh, of a of a, a really fast one for me it really didn't seem that much of a challenge uh, i do encourage you guys to go ahead and try it out though maybe maybe minus the weird carpet floor things actually is, should i do that right now let's just remove all of the floor now and see what it looks like now <laughs> yeah with it being just completely in the water like without any bit of like land this just looks even more insane things are jumping even more i don't know if it was cheating using a floor like that or not uh, i guess you guys can can decide if that was cheating or not um but this is what it looks like without any kind of flooring whatsoever even without the little carpets or whatever I think it worked out. Um, you can you can just swim straight from here to to any other room. It's just no walls, no floors. It's it's really trippy looking. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all of those wonderful things like that. Because when you do wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you always get to become wonderful yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things, and until next time, stay wonderful.